All right, guys, it is your fun Friday episode, and you made it through another week. Hallelujah. I can go, I can hear the amens from here. I love it. I love it. Now, you know, we're going to start every episode of the line within us with scripture. This week, we've been in the book of Judges. I get it. Old school, Old Testament, old school. We're going way back. Chapter four, verses one through nine is what I want you to study, but we'll get focused on verse eight only, okay? Barak says to her, If you go with me, I will go with you. I will go. But if you don't go with me, I won't go. Guys, go back and listen to the spiritual kickoff. That was a fun SKO to do this week where I really got to, to spend some time studying around Deborah and Barack, what that story means, as well as some leadership principles that I learned from that, that I shared on that episode that you may be able to apply directly into your life right now. So guys, if you missed the Wednesday episode, I had Terry Lynn Scott on, wonderful man doing great things in Radcliffe, Kentucky, as the pastor at Abundant Life Church. He's the host of the Anointed Leadership Podcast. And we talked about what anointed leadership actually is and, and how we can apply that to our life. And guys, he said things, you know, first of all, that anointing is, is a super on your natural. You know, it's a supernatural, but just think about it, he broke it down, a super on your natural. So guys, you have things that you're naturally good at. Every one of you listening, are, you have a talent a skill of some type. Imagine if you gave that to the Lord and prayed for that anointing, for him to show you how to use that, to magnify his glory in ways you can't even imagine what that would do for you. It's possible, guys. Lean in. Try that. Go listen, because he talked about so many things, how to lead at work, how to lead at home, how to lead our wife, guys, our kids. Uh, he broke down 1 Corinthians 11, 1, where he talks about as I. So basically the scripture says, follow me as I, that little as I, who's showing up? Who are you, who is showing up every day? Your children are watching. Your wife is watching. So it's not just what you're, what you're trying to teach. It's what you're actually doing. You know, cause it's all, all, everybody can have the head knowledge, right? You can know how to lose weight. Like, I know I got to do this. I know I need to count calories. I need to know my macros. I need to know how to do all these different things. But at the end of the day, if I go pick up a bunch of Hershey bars and eat them at 10 o'clock at night, am I losing weight? No. But I know how to do it. Same thing. When it comes to leadership, show up. You have to show up. The man who shows up is the man that's going to be an effective leader. So, guys, there's a ton of insight there from Terry. Go back and check that episode out. Now, you know, for Fun Fridays, we're going to give you a health tip, a wealth tip, and a self tip, okay? Now, the health tip for this week, there are tons of self-help books out there, guys, and it can be information overload. So my tip for you this week, take one book, one book, and actually implement it. Take three to six months and implement some of the practices. We often learn, yet we never apply, okay? So dial back the learning a little bit if you need to and ramp up the application, okay? I struggled with this. I have to do so much reading, right, for, for the line within us that, that it's hard for me to consume so much content to find what I actually need to implement. But I got to start doing this because I'm getting a ton of great insight from the line within us guests in particular and the authors and things that I'm learning. I need to slow down so that I can actually implement some of these things into my life to watch the impact. And you know what? Some of the things may not work, but you won't know till you take the time to actually slow down, implement, see what happens, maybe adjust and go from there. Okay? I get it. We all want, we, we want to consume a lot of stuff. We're, we're in this, this fast-paced world where it's more, 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 more. I'm telling you to pump the brakes and actually apply something and, and see the impact that it can have in your life, okay? Now, make sure it's a, it's a self-help book or something like that, that 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 you agree with, and then make those applications. All right, now for your wealth tip this week, to I want to help you guys grow in your career. And one thing I was thinking about as I was going through leadership and thinking about this week's episode, remove the words, that's not my job from your vocabulary. Because I'm telling you what, straight up, guys, this holds back more people to grow professionally than anything I can think of. Leaders get things done, period. They go first, 
They look for opportunities to serve, and then they act. So the next time you hear yourself saying, you know, that's not my job, I want you to stop. Stop yourself right there, because that could be a growth moment for you right there. So instead of, instead of saying that, say, how can I serve, right? And then watch what happens. And don't be surprised, guys, if this starts impacting you financially with a blessing by just having that shift. Now, again, we got to remember the one we serve, the one that we, that we worship, took on the role of the ultimate servant. And then he also took on the role of, of the ultimate servant and washed the feet of the disciples. Again, if serving is beneath you, leadership is above you. You're, you're not ready for it. So seriously, that's not my job. Let's get that out and let's start thinking about how can I serve. That's going to have a huge financial impact on you in the future and will help you build wealth. Now, self-tip for the week. I want you to, to think about this. Solicit feedback from those that are under your roof. Okay? Too often, as the leaders of the home, we won't have all the answers, right? But remember, if leadership's about serving and, and influence. To be able to do that at the highest level, we got to slow down and see what's working and what needs to be adjusted. Okay? And that goes for our spouses and our children. Okay? And the only time you're going to be able to figure this out is taking the time to ask for feedback and listening. Okay, open that opportunity for a connection to, to be established, particularly with the ones that mean the most. So slow down, solicit feedback, ask questions. Great leaders ask great questions, okay? And then actually listen. And you may need to filter some stuff, you may, but some stuff you may just need to adjust right now and make those changes. So there you go, guys. Your three tips this week. Health tip, actually implement a self-help book. Stop doing the learning. And actual apple and, and shift to application. A wealth tip: get those words. That's not my, my that's not my job. Out of your vocabulary and start thinking about how can I serve instead. And your self tip: solicit that feedback from the people that live under your roof, but they're the ones that you need to be serving the most right now. Okay. Now your book of the week. I was talking to Terry about the book the books that he really enjoys. He loves the the seven habits of how they affect the people. And I so if we want to definitely make that the, the recommended book of the week. It is a great read, guys. Just so you know, the seven habits, be proactive, begin with the end in mind, put the first things first, think win-win, okay? Seek first to understand, then to be understood. I love, that's probably one of my favorite uh, habits right there because we, we're too often, we're so quick just to chat, 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 chat without actually listening to understand what the people are telling us. The, uh, habit number six is to synergize. And number seven is sharpen the saw, guys. And that's what the line within us is all about. We're trying to sharpen each other, be the iron that sharpens iron. So guys, go check that out. The seven habits of highly effective people. Now, you know, on our fun Fridays, we're going to give you a couple of dad jokes. So let's see how, let's see how these go. So here we go. Dad joke number one, the earth is 70% uncarbonated water. Therefore, the earth is flat. <laughs> All right, guys, that's number one. Number two, my son asked me what procrastinate means. I said, I'll tell you later. So, guys, I, this is a toss up this week. You're going to have to vote. You're going to have to let us know. Number one, the earth is 70% uncarbonated water. Therefore, the earth is flat. Number two, my son asked me what procrastinate means. I said, I'll tell you later. So, guys, I think they're both pretty good. Maybe they get a chuckle. Maybe they get a smirk. Maybe they get an eye roll. Remember, all those things count. When they, in the world of dad jokes, okay? So again, the question that I want you to think about this week, what does confidence mean to you? Because I know you're listening to the line within us because you want to be a leader. You want to show up at home, at work, in your community, with your kids. I get it. You got to have some confidence. And the line within us, we're trying to, to, trying to give you resources to help that confidence grow, okay? So guys, thank you so much. It's been a fun week. If you missed any of the episodes, go back and check it out. Share this with others. Write us a rating. Write us a review, rather. Give us a rating. That makes all the difference in the world. Also, go to the lionwithin.us. Guys, we have some things on our website now that are new. You need to check some of this stuff out, including our brand new community that we launched. It's free. Jump in. 
see what that community is about. It's outside of Facebook, so we won't be throttled for speaking truth. So guys, we, we, we're making the investment to serve you. We need you to engage. Check us out on, on Instagram, all the different social media platforms. We're all out there, but the, the lionwithin.us is the easiest way. Connect with us there on the Lion's Den. Check out the, the resources we have, the nine habits of, 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 of leadership. We have the 10 scriptures every man needs to know. We have Bible study, all different things designed to serve you. So guys, I pray you have a great week. Go back and again, check out Judges 4. Read that. It's a wonderful story in the Bible. I hope And then see how you can apply that to your life. Thank you again for, for taking the time to join us. Come back next week. We have some more powerful conversations to share with you next week. Some more powerful ideas that are going to help you be the leader you're predestined to be. So enjoy your weekend, fellas. Get after it. Unleash the lion within. Most men know what it's like to do life in a vacuum and feel isolated on the journey. We believe every man needs a community to help them become the men they were created to be. More than just a website or podcast, we are a community of Christian men who are committed to supporting and encouraging one another on our journey to become the best versions of ourselves. We are men who have fought the good fight and come out victorious. The lion within us is here to help you stop feeling lost, defeated, and alone. Instead, find community and connection with other men that will help you achieve your goals. Live a life of purpose and be the leader God intends you to be. Visit thelionwithin.us to join the new growing Lions Den community today. 